will be in charge of proceedings. And we will proceed to enjoy all of the action. Highly experienced ref, and they need to be. We all know that as Taekwondo people. Not easy. A big burden now on the shoulders of the refs. But news just in. Many a conversation amongst the coaches earlier in the day. So there may be some improvements to the existing rules. How hard could that be? Well, we will find out in terms of how hard they will have to kick to do it. It's all about the business end of the competition now. Hope you're well, hope you're on form, wherever you are, whatever you're up to. Thanks for joining us for the Taekwondo. As the fans have as well here, it's a lovely evening. Place is packed, the temperature mercifully has dropped. If you've been in the venue, it's pretty sticky. But hopefully the sweatiest ones will just be the ones wearing the Hogus. Of course, the Hogus themselves, we know. There has been some issues with the PSS in terms of phantom points. The ghosts have been in the building, but will they be exercised tonight? They know how to pick them. Well, a warm ovation and a warm summer's evening. Cereso Iglesias, all smiles. Just going the wrong way. But she's not put a foot wrong so far. Top-ranked fighter, just 18 years old. Of course, that Olympic silver medal in Tokyo in the pocket. Well, Shim Ji Young trooping her way in here. Park eun the coach. And Sung Jong Chu Chong. And she'll be ready for this one. In terms of the battles of the coach as well, the three-time world champion, Brigitte Yagwe, a fellow Olympic silver medalist in the Spanish coaching corner. And I'm sure back in Hangu Club in Madrid, both Jesus and Suvi are cheering them on. Perfect evening, perfect opportunity. Who's got the precision and the skills to pay the bills in this one? Shim Jae Young, as you'll know, really good footwork, good operator. Sarethi Iglesias, the new generation. A return to form with a European bronze medal recently in Manchester. Can she go one better here? So here we go, opportunity knocks for both. And there goes the big buzzer straight away, Sarethu Iglesias trying to come forward, Shim Ji Young being aggressive. And you'll know that gameplay has changed. You see the little power graphic in the bottom of your screen, plus those Gamjong bars. So it's a power bar and a Gamjong bar. I like a bar in Taekwondo. Five Gamjongs, of course, will have you barred from the round, you'll be flung out. And flinging in a kick there, Shim Ji Young trying to go underneath Cereso Iglesias. Wise to it. Headshot pretty close there, flicks that one upstairs, Shim Ji Young. So far, the battle of the front legs. Safety first. There's been a lot of chat about the clinch work. And the burden on the refs to give the Gamjons the right way. So far, not too much clinching. Halfway through the first. Back leg turn and kick. Not far away there. 
neither wanting to drop in the back line just yet. Hook kick to the face, not far away there. Serefio Iglesias turning up the heat. Punching the way through. Crowd liked it. So did the judges. One in the books. Becomes two by virtue of that gamjong given by Nedis Tavares. Gives Serezo Iglesias a chance to clinch this first round in the first semi-final. Pops a little punch, tries with a little kick round the corner as well there. Serezo Iglesias, lovely push kick there, times it perfectly. Good response, we know that from Shimji Young. Loves a short sharp left on the inside, tries to come forward. Hits the deck, but hitting the height so far, the Spaniard. Can she get herself out of this first round with one in the books? And it's one to the body that secures it. One to the good. And it was a very enterprising start from Adriana Sareto Iglesias. And she was a picture of composure, even in that matchup with Panipak Wompatanakit in the Olympic final. Good start, confidence evident. Well, what can Shim Jae Young do by way of response? Double world champion, of course, down in 46 kilograms. Step up, and she's going to have to step up just now because she's one down with possibly two to play. Time for the focus. Pretty handy when you've got a fellow Olympic silver medalist in your corner, Bridget Yagwe, highly experienced, legendary fighter. Sereta Iglesias writing her own chapter. Shim Jae Young trying to upset the balance a little bit. And it's the kind of furtive kicks from the fighter in red, just hanging back a little bit, not committing, that's why. Front leg counters are there and obvious. Headshot just flicking over. And the Korean now trying to get back to that old school footwork, trying to fake and intimidate. Sereto Iglesias not buying. Back leg turning kick produces the clinch. This is where they have to work or they incur the wrath of the ref. Punch, but not too much power, but still given. Happy through this second round. Good response from Adriana. And again, lands the power punch. Drawing the applause of the wise crowd. More world and Olympic champions in the crowd as well. So they know what they're watching, and they're watching the next generation emerging. Shim Ji Young, a top fighter in her own right, but is she going to fall the same fate? Can't get anywhere near the head of the Spaniard. Has to, tries with the back kick, reads the playbook nicely. Iglesias on song. Can she be the hero? 15 seconds or so will tell us. Into the clinch they go, but certainly looking like clinching a spot in the final. Adriana Sarefo Iglesias overcoming Shim Ji Young, jumping in with a chop kick, a little bit of finesse at the finish. Wonderful performance. And the winning smile wins with a grin, but it's tough on Shim. Bronze medal for Korea. Well, she's certainly got game. She's got the crowd in the palm of her hand. And it's always great when you see a new fighter emerging. There's Team Hangu and Team Spain in amongst it. Never really in doubt, Shim Ji Young tried her best. It goes by way of the rest. Bronze for her, Spain into the final.
So the best of two or three working pretty well there, taking the acclaim of the crowd. And taking their way into this.